Tax Terra says, I am Texan. When I was a child, only crazy people talked secession. Ordinary Texans have seriously been discussing secession since the Obama administration. Yeah. Really? Right? Really? Yeah, of course. I, I remember Obama was a big deal because I know a lot of people were, were lured in by his uh, charm. Like he was a charming guy and I know a lot of people were lured in. Yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you right now from my perspective, Obama was one of the first presidents that I remember who I had a – and again, this is just a feeling. This is not an argument. But he made me feel like he actually doesn't like America. Like I hated Bill Clinton. Really? Yeah, I hated Bill Clinton. But I, but I felt like eh, he liked. He's a power monger. He likes America well enough. Didn't like George Bush, power monger. Likes America well enough. Obama, I felt like he had contempt for regular Americans and for America generally. Um, and it was, it's his, it was his way of speaking. It was his style. It was just he, he had a lot of con. He got away with a lot of condescension, and the media never called him out on it. Because they all felt like he was a good-looking guy who they wanted to go out with for a beer, and plus he was on the left, so they loved him. Um, but I, Obama did. There was a negative. There was a negative vibe that a lot of people felt about Obama. So I'm not surprised that in Texas they. I mean, I, I actually knew that they, they had started to talk about secession. They started talking about it in other states as well. Um, yeah, it's weird because I. It's hard for me to go back in. Uh, you know, I can't go back in time. And look at Obama with the eyes that I have now, the knowledge or, you know, where I'm at now is different. And so I have to just kind of look back and see, well, what would I think about those things now? You know, at the time I had rose colored glasses about him and right. there are some things I can look back at now and see differently. I look, for example, when he made his comment about people clinging to guns and their God, right at the time being a social justice person, I, I was like, right on. I mean, right, but that's as a social justice say. person, you had but contempt now, for America. Yes, I did. I had contempt for Christians. For mm-hmm. I had contempt for, and, and I was a gun owner, but I had contempt for, I saw I saw myself, I set myself apart somehow. Like, I'm, I'm a liberal gun owner, you know, and I set myself apart for, I definitely looked down my nose at, at, people, um, who I no longer look down my nose at and I'm ashamed for having done so. Um, but so that's, a, that's one thing that I can look back at and say, okay, yeah, I can, re- I remember that quote and I view that quote as completely differently now and it's contemptuous. You're right. Yeah. I just wonder how many of those things I, I, you know, the quotes I don't remember and stuff. I just remember, I, you know, I remember that one, but maybe there were, maybe he was constantly being, um, condescending and I just missed it because I agreed with him. Yeah. I mean, again, for me, I just remember the vibe of him and he would speak like every time he spoke, i I came away feeling, well, he's articulate. Um, but he uses a very vague language and a very condescending tone towards the foundation of America. Um, like he really doesn't like America, like what America actually is. He doesn't like it. Um, and again, that's not an argument. That was my feeling. But I think a lot of people shared that feeling. And that's why that's why there was some, some pushback there. 